Since childhood, we are afraid of these demons, ghosts, and vampires, etc. Have you ever tried to understand the origin of these stories, that is, the vampires, ghosts, or demons? Is vampire a ghost or a serious medical condition called porphyria? Interesting. The description of a vampire is way scarier, such as they have long teeth and they have long nails and more whitish in complexion with very thin hair. This description matches a medical condition called porphyria cutanea tarda, which is a disorder of heme metabolism. So let us look into the signs and symptoms of this porphyria and whether it matches our vampire story. The hemoglobin that carries oxygen in our body is divided into heme and globin where globin is a protein whereas heme is a metalloporphyrin and these porphyrin are cyclic pyrrol rings connected by methylene or methyl bridges and this porphyrin ring is synthesized from the basic amino acid that is glycine and succinyl coa compound the synthesis of heme is a multi-step process and it requires various intermediates to know about the entire heme synthesis there is a separate video in our website about heme synthesis. If any enzyme become deficient in this reactions, that will produce the compound that gets accumulated in various areas of the body. So these compounds are porphyrin. This porphyrin gets accumulated under the skin and causes various reactions such as dermatitis. And you can, you can imagine now a vampire, okay, how they kill the vampire? they kill the vampire by showing sunlight right so think of this person who is suffering from this disease porphyria cutanea tarda he will never come directly into the sunlight and if he faces the sunlight the skin will burn okay so the story matches i think right so the vampire hunter who kills dracula or the vampire by exposing it to the sunlight yes now you got the picture right then they have the porphyrin accumulation in the uh, dental area and the persons suffering from this disease they will have red color teeth it's called erythroodontia so the people who see this will think that the vampire has just drunk someone's blood congenital erythropoietic porphyria and porphyria cutanea tarda are two diseases that are due to deficiency of uroporphyrinogen 3 synthase and porphyria cutanea tarda is due to deficiency of uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase now, these two disorders are very similar with the symptoms of vampirism. So, if you see that there is photosensitivity present and the patient usually excrete red color urine and wherever our patient goes, he excretes red color urine. The people will think that just now that vampire has drank someone's blood and that is the strain that is present there. But whereas it is just a excretion or the patient has just micturated there, urinated there. Imagine the patient long back, what would have happened to these patients? Okay, They would have suffered because of the imagination of the human mind, isn't it? They would have thought that these patient, patients are very dangerous, where they are very weak and they needed people's support. Instead of believing in these mythological concepts, we should actually help these patients. So this particular enzyme that is deficient that led to this congenital erythropoietic porphyria and porphyria cutanea tarda. Now you have a curiosity and you will be thinking that what will happen if other enzymes are deficient and what will be the symptoms and signs of the patient. For more information about porphyria and other medical topics, please like, share and subscribe our channel. And we are about to launch an online medical tutorial for medical students www.nichemedics.com In this website, you can see many animated series of medical topics which will be easier for you to grasp. And not only that, we are using various memory techniques so that all the information can be retained by you very easily. So there, there is going to be a visual treat for you. Niche Medics, a tool to medicine.